Hello and welcome to the second half of my League of Legends roundup for March 27th. We have the LCS games here. We're going to do the LCS first and then the LEC playoff match last between Vitality and XL because the way I did my boards, if I, it, it would be all backwards. So I have to do the LCS first. If you want to see the LEC match, which is I mean playoff match series first, um, it's towards the end of the video. I hopefully will timestamp it if I can remember. It's late. Um, because they had tiebreakers. So, um, if you haven't watched one of these videos before, if you didn't watch the first half with my LPL and LCK games, which were incredible this morning, you should watch the Damn Wan Gen G series if you really want to watch some great League of Legends. Um, I take notes on the game, save me the time of watching the games for yourself, especially on a day like today where there are some games that are completely meaningless. Um, so, game one between Dignitas and 100 Thieves. Dignitas would beat 100 Thieves, so 100 Thieves going in the playoffs are going in with a loss. Dignitas win, but end up being eliminated from the playoffs anyways. Um, Dig would go top lane in three minutes, get ahead. 100 Thieves would respond, taking a Hextech Drake. The early game was slow. Um, nine minutes, Dig would go top lane again. Fake God getting two kills. They were trying to get Fake God ahead of someday, um, and they succeeded. 100 Thieves would then get a kill in the jungle. They would take a cloud. Um, Dignitas got a kill, but were forced off the Drake. 100 Thieves taking the Drake, and then a fight would ensue afterwards. It goes 2-2, two to two, both mid laners getting double kills, Blue and um, Abadage. Closer then would take over for a little bit, solo killing Neo twice within two minutes. Um, 100 Thieves would then get another pick, and then at 15 minutes, the game is 7-6 to six Dignitas after these picks and solo kills. Um, River ends up being MVP. You give him the J4, which they did, and he is disgusting on the champion. 100% kill participation, 0, 2, and 7, keeping them in the game. And um, I believe by the end he had 20 out of 22 kill participation, which is crazy. And I believe the last time I had him as MVP, it was in a similar situation. Um, the teams then exchange kills in top lane after 15 minutes. 100 Thieves go to Mountain Soul Point. They win a fight in the jungle 3-1, someday with a double. Then they go bot lane, so 100 Thieves are pulling ahead, but Dignitas respond, winning a big fight at Mountain at 23 minutes to prevent the soul from going to 100 Thieves. Um, Dignitas winning at 4-0, blue with a double. Um, with that, they're able to go take the Baron because they have so much prio. 2.5k lead. Um, when the Baron expired, they're up 13-11 to 11 in kills. River, 1, 2, and 12. 100% kill participation still. Um... Dig then prevent Mountain Soul again, winning a fight 4-2. Neo with a triple. Two minutes later, Neo gets another triple as part of a 5-1 team fight win in River, I believe in front of the Baron, to end. Um, final score, 22-14. Game 2, EG, CLG. CLG has nothing to play for, so they put in their academy roster. EG has everything to play for, and they take advantage of it, beating CLG. Um, CLG's academy roster looked awful. Um, but what are you going to do? This early game was even slower than the first one. There were no fir there was the first blood came at nine minutes. By then, CLG had taken a Mountain Drake. Um, Jojo Pune would solo kill triple. Actually, my apologies. Jojo Pune solo kill triple at six minutes. Um, EG then would go top. There would be an exchange of kills and bot. EG, D EG would go top again, getting impact ahead of Dokla. Um, Dokla pulled out a vein top, and he looked awful on it. Um... EG then get another pick. Impact solo kills Dokla now that they've gotten him ahead by so much. Um, CLG go bot, trying to be like, okay, well, top to loss. Let's go bot lane. Um, CLG take a cloud winning a fight 2-0. There's a skirmish in mid at 13 minutes. It goes 1-1. One one. So at 15 minutes, it's 9-3, evil geniuses. They've went top lane a few times. Now Impact solo killing Dokla. They're taking advantage of fights everywhere. They're up 5k gold. Jojo Pune is 4-0-2. He ends up being MVP. He did great on the um, LeBlanc in this game, doing what he had to do. Um, EG would win a fight 5-1 at 15 minutes. I believe it started in um, one lane and worked its way all the way across the rift. Danny with a triple as part of those five kills. EG would take an Infernal now. 19 minutes, they win a fight in the base. I mean, they're so far ahead. They're pushing on the base of CLG, winning 2-0. Um, up 9k gold, they reset, and then they end through top 3-0, Danny with all three kills. 
Um, game three, an upset. C9 comes in with a loss to the playoffs, just like 100 Thieves. Um, FlyQuest playing for what they, they have something to play for. They're trying to make the playoffs, and uh, they win 19 to 12. Um, they are the first team to pull out the misfortune in um, the LCS. We've been seeing it in uh, the Asian regions as of late, the LPL and LCK. So if you catch those recaps, it wouldn't be a surprise to you. The MF is back, at least to some degree. At six minutes, Fly would get a 2v2 kill, the MF coming through. Um, C9 would take an Infernal after getting a pick a minute later. Then there would be a couple skirmishes in mid that go one-to-one, -one, and then FlyQuest would go mid a second time, getting a kill. C9 get a pick. The game slows down for a few minutes where FlyQuest are able to stack two drakes. So they take a cloud and an ocean. So between 12 minutes, 18 minutes, no kills. 18 minutes, FlyQuest go mid again. So FlyQuest continue to go mid, trying to get to Kui ahead. Um, C9 respond by going bot, but at 20 minutes, this game is 5-3 to three for FlyQuest's favor and kills. C9 being the better players overall, they have a 1k gold lead. They're able to farm a lot better. Summit really, I think Summit um, out-farmed Kumo by over 100 CS in this game. Um, FlyQuest are able to steal a Baron at 21 minutes. A massive play, um, which ended up allowing them to tie up gold. Um, the in a fight would ensue afterwards. It goes 1-1. One to one. With that Baron, they go to Ocean Soul Point, getting a kill to set that up. Um, a minute later, C9 get a kill in the jungle. 27 minutes, C9 take a Baron of their own, winning a fight 2-0. This puts them up slightly ahead in gold. But a minute later, a massive fight occurs in mid that FlyQuest win 5-4. Jose Diodo being the last living member, so he's able to take the Ocean to go to, to take the Ocean Soul for FlyQuest. Um, eliminates the Baron completely. Berserker and Johnson both with triples for um, their respective teams. FlyQuest are now up 12 to 11. Gold is tied like once again. Johnson is 5, 2, and 5, ends up being MVP. I mean, that triple kill during that fight was the, the, the what they needed. Without that, they probably lose the game off of that fight alone. 33 minutes, Johnson gets a double in top lane, which leads to another Baron, a 3K gold lead, and then they're able to end with the Baron because 3K is nothing. But the minions are able to take down turrets, and they're able to push and force their way to a victory. Johnson with a double kill as they end. Game 4. Golden Guardians have something to play for. Immortals has nothing to play for. Immortals pull out Chad from Academy. And Chad, like CLG's Academy members, belong in Academy right now. So, um, looked awful. Pride Stalker takes advantage of him in the jungle. Ends up being MVP. Uh, four minutes, Golden Guardians would open it up early. A 2-0 in the river. Licorice with a double on Renekton. Um, there'd be a skirmish in mid at seven minutes. It goes one-to-one. -one. And then a fight in top lane where GG were able to dive top. 2-0, Licorice once again with another double. So Licorice has four kills in the first nine minutes of action. Um, Golden Guardians take a cloud. Then Immortals respond. They get a kill in top lane. Um, Arrow goes up there on a Draven, kills Licorice. Big uh, moment for them. They're able to get another kill top. However, um, they weren't able to turn anything, you know, turn it around really off of these two kills in top where Arrow started stacking kills. Um, Golden Guardians took an ocean, and at 15 minutes, up there at 5 3, 4.5k gold. Um, Golden Guardians then get a kill on top at 16 minutes, which allows them to push with Rift Herald, I believe, and get a couple turrets. Now they're up 6.5k gold. Um, 17 minutes, Immortals wins a fight in the jungle 2 0, but they're unable to secure the mountain, and Golden Guardians go to Mountain Soul Point. Um, 22 minutes, Immortals get a kill in the jungle, which evens up kills 6 to 6. But Golden Guardians are still at 5k gold as of 23 minutes. So the gold um, lead has diminished for Golden Guardians over this last little bit of time where Immortals gets a couple kills in the jungle. They get another kill uh, once again in the jungle. Um, 26 minutes, actually, Immortals continues to um, put pressure on Golden Guardians, preventing Mountain Soul by taking a mountain for themselves. Um, Golden Guardians punish them 2-0 for doing so, which allows them to get Pryo in mid lane. They get a couple more kills. They start the Baron. Immortals tries to force him off. Golden Guardians gets three more kills. Take the Baron. And um, then end with the Baron two minutes later. So that sequence where Immortals took the Mountain to prevent Mountain Soul. Golden Guardians just were able to run with it. Get a couple kills. Get the Pryo. Get a couple more kills. 
get a few more kills because the mortals were just on the back foot then. They were like, oh my God, we have to try and stop them from taking the Baron. We have to try and stop them. We got to try and stop them. And in doing so, they allowed the game to get out of hand. Um, final score, 16 to 6. Uh, the final game, mismatch on paper, mismatch on the rift. Um, between TL and TSM, I guess that's really unfair. It wasn't a mismatch on the rift. Um, 22 to 16. Um, but both teams really didn't have much to play for. I mean, TL wanted the first seed, of course. So um, good for them that they won. TSM would start the game off ahead. They dove uh, mid, getting a kill, going one for one. They would then go top lane two minutes later. At six minutes, they were able to outplay a bot dive one to one. Um, TL responded by going top. So in seven minutes, we had four different things occur. Um, then it slowed down. TSM would take two drakes, a mountain, and a hex tech between seven and 13 minutes. Where at 13 minutes, TSM would dive top themselves. TL win the first fight of significance at 14 minutes in the jungle 3-0, which puts him up 6-4 to four in kills, 3k gold. Santorin was now 2-0-3. Oh, um, TSM were able to find a kill a minute later. TL responded by getting a pick and taking the ocean. TL then go top lane. Um, 20 minutes, Huni solo kills Bjergsen in a fight that goes 4-0 for TSM. Huni with two kills, one solo kill, and one more. Um, this gave them pry over Baron, where they were able to take it and then tie up the game in gold at 21 minutes. With the Baron, they win a fight 3-2 in the jungle, but that is not enough because TL are able to win the fight for the Ocean Drake to prevent Ocean Soul Point from going to TSM 4-0. Bjergsen with a double. This makes the game um, TL favored 14-12 to in kills. Um, gave them a 1.5k gold lead against the Baron. And Santorin was 5-1-6 and six on the Viego. He ends up being MVP. Like yesterday, Santorin was a really great facilitator. I mean, Bjerg might have been MVP yesterday. So maybe, maybe he, this was Friday, Santorin was MVP. Either way, Santorin's been an MVP lately. Um, he's been really good for TL, probably their weakest member on paper, but very good for them. Um, TL then at 27 minutes, take a Baron winning a fight 4-2. Bjergsen, Santorin, and Tactical with all the kills, all doubles. Um, this puts them up 4k gold. They go to Ocean Soul Point. And then at 31 minutes, they end in the jungle 3-1. Bjerg with a triple, two clean house, and end. TL go in with a win. Um, where C900 Thieves and two other top dogs do not. Um, because EG, FlyQuest, and Golden Guardians all won, they all went in 9-9, nine and nine, which caused two tiebreakers, which I'm going to get to now. Okay, so now you see why my board is the way it is, why I want to do this last. Because if I did this last, then I would have to swap my boards twice because these games occurred after these ones. So the Excel Vitality, we will get to it in a moment. Five game series, um, a long one. So LCS though. So uh, speaking of long games, this was our longest one of the day. Golden Guardians Fly Quest, a lot on the line for these teams. They want to see who, finishes, who were able to move on to face EG for fourth place. Um, FlyQuest come out on top 15 to 9. Um, the teams would exchange bot kills in the first few minutes of the game. Uh, FlyQuest then took a cloud and take a mountain. So between 5 minutes and actually 16 minutes, there were no kills. In which case, FlyQuest would take two drakes. Golden Guardians would go up 3k gold. So that was the exchange. Golden Guardians getting a gold lead. FlyQuest taking objectives. Um, at 16 minutes, Golden Guardians get a kill bot. FlyQuest say fine. After the reset, they go an Infernal Soul Point. 20 minutes, FlyQuest win the first big fight of the game, 4-1 to in mid, Takui with a double. Um, 25 minutes, FlyQuest take the soul in a fight that goes 1-1. to um, And then Golden Guardians will win a couple fights themselves, getting 2-0 in mid and then a 2-1 in river, which actually put them ahead once again in gold, 3.5k, 8-7 to in kills, and lost was 5-1-3, and 100% kill participation for the 80 carry. Um... 29 minutes, though, there's a fight that goes one-to-one -one and over the Elder. Um, then FlyQuest are able to secure the Elder and then win a fight 1-0 afterwards. Um, Golden Guardians really didn't want to fight FlyQuest against the Elder, so FlyQuest were able to take a Baron after getting one pick, which cut the gold deficit from 3.5k to 1k. Um, after the Baron would subside, FlyQuest would actually be up in gold 1.5k, so it was a 2.5k power play. Johnson was 6-1-2 as FlyQuest were up 10-9. to 
And then FlyQuest would win two fights to end, 1-0 in mid, and then 2-0 uh, in bot. After 37 minutes, final score 15-9, Johnson ends up being MVP. Johnson did very well. 1-2 um, and two at 34 minutes, 6 of 10 kills. He was the AD carry. He showed up in both games today. Um, well, two of the three. Game three, not so much. Um, so, Jojo Pun shows up once again, though. So, EG, between, EG ends up fourth. Uh, FlyQuest fifth, Golden Guardian sixth going to the playoffs. Um, excuse me. EG would uh, start this game off early, getting inspired ahead, winning in the jungle 3-0 at five minutes, inspired with a double on Xin Zhao. Um, EG then take an ocean, they go mid. FlyQuest respond, getting a couple kills on their jungler in mid 2-0. Jose with Diodo with both. Leads to Hextech Drake. So at 15 minutes, EG are up 4-2, 2.5k two, two gold. EG then get a pick. They get a couple kills bot. Then they get three kills in top at 18 minutes. Impact with a double. That leads to a cloud. And now all of a sudden at 21 minutes, EG are up 10 to 2. Six and a half, four and a half K gold, sorry. And Jojo Pune is 2, 1, and 7. Nine out of 10 kill participation on the um, Syndra. Very good Syndra game. Um, so the gold lead has nearly doubled in six minutes. And the kill lead has doubled. Uh, EG go to Cloud Soul Point. They win a fight 1 0 to be able to get Pryo over the Baron, take it, get another kill. They're up 6.5k gold. Uh, they get a kill in mid at 29 minutes, and then they would end in a big fight in bot 5 3. Um, J uh, Johnson had a triple in that fight, all three kills on the Ash for FlyQuest, but he could not overpower the Danny Zeri, who had a couple kills, as well as the other members of EG. So, final score 18 to 5. Um, I went over that real fast. I'm trying to get this done. Um, it's late. Um, but yeah, so that's the LCS for today. Um, now on to the LEC, we had XL and Vitality playoffs, uh, went all five games, um, 37 minute, 38 minute affair. Um, game three was the closest one of the five, of the five, um, and Southmate ends up being MVP. We get to that in game five. Um, so, <sighs> Game one, XL would cheese level one to get ahead. Um, XL would then get dive gold top twice. So they were ahead big time in the first seven minutes. The teams would then exchange drakes as the game slowed down between seven and uh, 15 minutes. Fly, uh, XL were up two and a half K gold. Vitality would win a fight at 15 minutes, 2-1 in the river. XL then win a fight in top, 2-0 at 18 minutes. Um, XL take a mountain, there's a skirmish in that causes a trade of kills at 20 minutes and then Finn would solo kill Alfari two minutes later. Finn did really well in the Aurelia in game one. Um, Excel then go to Mountain Soul Point. They would win a fight in bot 3-0 at 26 minutes. Finn with a double kill. That leads to a, a Baron, a 3k power play. Um, however, they weren't able to secure the Mountain Soul. Um, Vitality keeping that from them at 29 minutes. At 31 minutes, there's a skirmish in top that goes 1-1. One to one. Then XL would then win a fight in top a minute later, 2-0. Patrick with a double. This puts XL up 14-6 in kills, but only 3k gold. Finn is 5-3-6 and six at the time. Um, but by do, getting these kills at 30 minutes up there and doing what they had to do, um, XL take the Baron. They're up 4k. With that Baron, they get Pryo after getting a pick to take Mountain Soul, and then they would end Marcoon carrying them hard at 37 minutes. Game two, Vitality would respond 20 to 8. However, XL did get out to an early lead in this one. Marcoon with a double going bot lane at five minutes. After the reset, Vitality take a Mountain. XL would then get a couple kills going bot in mid, so they were active. Vitality go top lane at 11 minutes and they take an ocean. Um, the teams would then exchange trips to top lane at 13 and 15 minutes. And Excel once again at 16 minutes are ahead, just like in game one. Um, they're ahead 6 to 3, 2.5k gold. Marcoon is 3 1 and 3. The jungler has 100% kill participation. He's ganking, but he's not securing objectives. Vitality go to Cloud Soul Point before 20 minutes because of this. Um, then at 20 minutes, Vitality win a fight 3 0. Karzi with a double, which secures a Baron, ties up gold. Then with the Baron, they win a fight 4-1. South made with a double to take Cloud Soul. Um, after the Baron subsides, Vitality are now up 3k gold, so 3k power play. 11-7 in kills. Self made is 4-0-3. Oh, 
Uh, Vitality then went to fight in mid 2-0, and then 1-0, and then reset um, Perks with two of those three kills. So they were pushing down mid with the, um, well, they didn't have a Baron at the time. They were just pushing down mid, taking inhibitors, forcing it down the throat of XL, and um, then they would reset. 30 minutes, they finally make the final push, Tarzi with a double to do so. Back and forth, back and forth. Game three goes to Excel. It's 20 to 15, a very close game. Um, four minutes, there's a trade of kills in top. Then the teams would exchange trips to top at six and 12 minutes. So there's a big gap there, um, but the teams continue to go top lane. Um, it works out for Vitality because Ayafari is so far ahead, he's able to solo kill Nuke Duck at 14 minutes to secure a uh, Ocean. Then at 16 minutes, Excel take a Rift Herald. Vitality punish them 1-0. XL then win a fight 2-1 in bot. Um, Vitality get a kill mid, which leads to a cloud. The teams then exchange trips bot lane at 22 and 23 minutes. So at 25 minutes, Vitality are up 7-5, 2.5k gold. 26 minutes, Excel are able to stop the dragon stacking, winning a fight 2-1. Nuke Duck with both kills to secure a Hex Tech Drake. 28 minutes, there's a skirmish in mid where Excel actually get a kill. Um, they would start a Baron, and Vitality would punish them. Um, well, not punish them, actually, but just force them off 1-1. One to one. Um, There'd be a skirmish top lane. But at 30 minutes, it was anyone's game. I mean, 10-10 to 10 tied, so Excel's gold lead's gone. Um, it's 10-10. to 10. Nuke Duck is 4-2-3. and three. Um, Vitality then get a pick. And are able to take a Baron, winning a fight afterwards. I mean, not even winning it. A fight going on afterwards, go one to one. Um, gives him a 2K gold lead. Excel take a Hex Tech opposite side of the Rift. And then it's all Excel after that, despite Vitality getting the Baron. Um, Excel win a fight in top 2 1. They win another fight in um, Vitality, then win a fight 2 1 in top. Karzi with a double. Um, 37 minutes, Excel then win a fight in mid 3 0. Nuke Duck with a double. And then at 38 minutes, Excel win another fight 2-0 and then finally end. Um, there's a lot of skirmishing at the end. Um, one side of fights back and forth, back and forth, and Excel finally finish it off. Game 4, quick one, 27 minutes. Uh, Southmade opens it up by solo killing Marcoon at 4 minutes. Gives them a uh, trade of kills 1-1. One one. Excel then go mid at 9 minutes, getting a kill, which leads to an ocean. There's a skirmish in bot at 12 minutes. It goes 1-1. One um, Alfari would solo kill Finn at 13 minutes, which actually ties up kills 3-3, three to three, but Vitality is up 3k gold. Um, Vitality go mid, they take a hex deck. Then the first significant fight of this game, Vitality wins in bot at 17 minutes, 4-1. to one. South made with a double. Um, Vitality go bot again. And now at 20 minutes, their gold lead is 5.5k, and, and they're 9-4 to four in kills, and South made is 3-1-4 and four on the, um... Viego, I mean uh, Volley Bear, sorry. So Selfmade is doing work. Seven out of nine kill participation. I mean, setting the tone at four minutes, solo killing Marcoon really kind of took the wind out of the sails of Excel. Um, Vitality taking an Infernal. Excel would get a couple kills to be able to take the Baron and um, cut the gold deficit to 5K as of 25 minutes. But um, Vitality would win a fight I don't know why I wrote Excel there, because obviously Vitality wins this game. Vitality win a fight 5-1 against the Baron, self-made with a triple in River to uh, end the game. Final score 19-8, so self-made a lot of work in Game 4. Um, and that did not stop. In Game 5, he also showed up big. So uh, Vitality run the, sh run the gauntlet in Game 5, 18-5. They crushed them. Um, they go top and mid in the first six minutes. Excel taking Infernal. 12 minutes, Vitality win a fight 2-0 in bot. Vitality then take a cloud, and as of 15 minutes, they're up 4-0, 2.5k gold. Selfmade wins a fight. I mean, nah, geez, I'm talking all over the place. So, 2.5k gold lead, 4-0 for Vitality. Selfmade 2-0-2 on the Olaf. Um, Karzi solo kills Patrick in, in side lane at 16 minutes. Vitality get a kill mid. Alfari solo kills Nuke Duck. Everything is going in Vitality's favor as the game goes to the mid game. Um, Excel do win a fight for Mountain at 18 minutes, 2 to 1, however. But the gold lead is still 3.5k for Vitality as of 22 minutes, 8 to 3 in kills. Vitality take a Mountain at 23 minutes after getting a pick. 
Uh, they go bot lane at 26 minutes. Um, there's a skirmish in the river at 27 minutes. But I mean, Excel really have nothing to offer for Vitality. I mean, to I mean, cannot match what Vitality has to offer right now. Um, Alfari solo kills Nuke Duck. Alfari with multiple. I mean, I think that was three or four solo kills in this series. I did not make him MVP though because his game one and game two were pretty rough. Um, 29 minutes, Vitality win a fight for the Baron, um, securing it, getting a 9K lead. Then they go to Mountain Soul Point with the Baron and then end at 32 minutes. 5-1, to one, Karzy with a triple to end the push. Um, like I said, self-made ends up being MVP. Um, if you like this sort of content, uh, that pretty much is it. So if you like this sort of content, like, comment, subscribe if you have any opinions of your own on how the LCS season ended or this lec match and how you felt about it um like i said in the beginning if you didn't watch the first half of the video you should or you should just watch the damn one gen g series yourself because honest to god excuse me i would think that that series was worth watching definitely game five um but nevertheless uh subscribe if you enjoy this content and hope you come back for more